Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general reading. This is going to be uh, your August 2022 predictions uh, for um, Gemini. Uh, so you can apply this to any of your replacements, okay? This reading could be about anything, so we're just going to see what the cards have to say. So we're going to take a look at what's currently going on with you guys, what you guys need to know, and then we'll finish off the read to see, um, you know, you know, the possible outcome, advice, and what else you guys need to know. So just apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate, take a look at your other uh, take a look at your other uh, placements. Okay, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Gemini people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading specific to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Okay, so Gemini, let's get started. Over energies for Gemini. That's not the right reading. Tell me about what Gemini needs to know. Predictions for Gemini for uh, August 2022. What is surrounding Gemini? What's going on with Gemini? What does Gemini need to know for August 2022? What does Gemini need to know for August 2022? What does Gemini need to know for August 2022? What does Gemini need to know for August 2022? What does Gemini need to know for August 2022? You have the Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, and the Two of Cups. I don't know. I feel like we have someone here that's running away from love or something like that, Gemini. I mean, whoever this is, this is someone that you have a very strong soul tie here with. This person is perhaps very in and out and very non-committal. And perhaps you're looking for that, yeah? So if you've been going on this like back and forth thing with your person here, I feel like it's going to continue for the month of August, okay? So uh, Nine of Swords and the Sun, yeah. So there's a, there's a love situation that you're dealing with that's really stressing you out. And it's creating a lot of un, uh, just unhappiness here okay so i feel like you're losing sleep over this you're losing sleep over this person here uh could be dealing with a leo here okay or aries or sagittarius you might have those energies in your chart uh we have the five of wands and the judgment card i feel like there is an issue here and i feel like one person is trying to sweep it under the rug and another person is trying to resolve it Okay, and you know, I feel like for the month of August, uh, Gemini, I feel like you're finally going to realize that perhaps, you know, this it's time to close the, uh, the door on the situation. So judgment, Sagittarius energy right here. Tell me about this Knight of Wands. Why is this Knight of Wands here? Tell me about the Knight of Wands. Why is this Knight of Wands here? Tell me about the Knight of Wands. Oh, that's too many. All right, why is the Knight of Wands here? Tell me about this Knight of Wands. Why is this Knight of Wands here? Why is this Knight of Wands here? All right, we have the Ten of Pentacles here. Tell me about this uh, Two of Cups. And then we have a King of Swords. Oh. I, I'm, I'm a bit concerned because... Um, you know, what's happening here is that I feel like there is someone here that is making plans, okay, to move towards higher levels of commitment here with you. But I feel like, you know, I feel like every time this person makes that plan or that they make that decision, I feel like this person dips out. Yeah. Uh, I, I would not be, uh, yeah. I, I, another thing I'm picking up is that maybe this person's going through a midlife crisis or something like that. You know, you could be married and have children with this individual and this person just dips in and out. This person like goes away and disappears for a week and then this person comes back. Tell me about the Nine of Swords here. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Why is this Nine of Swords here? We have the Magician, Gemini, Virgo. Tell me about the Sun. We have the Emperor here, Aries Energy. Tell me about the Five of Wands.
Page of Swords, Judgment. And the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so the um, Magician and the Emperor here, Aries Energy. Hmm. Whoever this is, I feel like there's someone here that's trying to make this work with you. Or that you're trying to make this, I feel like you're trying to make it work or someone here is trying to make it work, but another person, not, not really. I feel like whoever this is, this is an individual that's half-assing it. Well, the thing is, I feel like, you know, one person is putting in all the work and it's really stressing out one person. But, you know, I feel like, you know, with this emperor here, I just feel like someone here is ready to walk out the door because I feel like someone here deserves so much better than this. The Page of Swords. Seems like there's a lot of people involved here. Seems like someone, uh, you know, there are people here pay playing telephone, gossiping, speaking poorly about someone here. And the Eight of Pentacles. I don't know, it seems like someone here might be coming in to check in to see how you're doing or something like that checking up on you on social media someone here is working on a reconciliation with you maybe what else do we have here for gemini what else do we have for for gemini could be dealing with another gemini here okay gemini aquarius libra what else does uh, uh, gemini need to know for august 2022 you have a chariot and the king of wands aries leo sag four of cups and the six of swords Knight of Pentacles and a Seven of Wands. Okay. Cancer energy with the Chariot, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, Four of Cups, and a Six of Swords. This is interesting because I feel like someone here is about to experience some, is experience some sort of rejection here. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles and a Seven of Wands. Someone here is trying to approach you, but I feel like you're blocking this person out. You're protecting your happiness from this person. Yeah, I, I feel like you choose happiness over suffering. That's what I'm getting here. Because I feel like by staying in this, in this situation, um, yeah, you're suffering by keeping yourself in this. Okay, the chariot, queen of swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, the king of wands, and the eight of swords here. Whoever this is, we have someone here who can't stop thinking about you or something. Yeah, someone here can't stop thinking about you. Could be an indication with the, que with the Queen of Swords. This is an individual that has strong boundaries, that has been through a lot with somebody here. Okay? Tell me about this uh, Four of Cups. Why is the Four of Cups here? Three of Swords, Six of Swords, and a Seven of Pentacles. Yeah. I, I just feel like uh, we have someone here that just cannot face more heartbreak. I feel like this Queen does not want to get stuck in this like back and forth situation with this masculine here. And I'm, I'm feeling like with the king of, uh, with the emperor, the magician and the set, uh, king of swords, this person could be very manipulative, okay? Tell me about the king, uh, knight of pentacles here. Knight of pentacles. Knight of swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, the seven of wands here. Why is the seven of wands here? In the page of pentacles. Yeah, somebody is trying to come forward towards you looking for a reconciliation, but with the Seven of Wands, you're blocking out this person. Yeah, it, uh, so Libra, Aquarius, Gemini with the Knight of Swords, uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo with the Page of Pentacles. It just seems like, you know, I feel like you're this fe a a feminine energy. You're using the sword to cut this person out. Whoever this is, this is an individual that's really immature. Yeah, it seems like this person has promised you a lot of things, but never really delivered on them. So, yeah, so I feel like you're no longer, you know, keeping yourself in the situation and suffering, okay? So, Gemini, I hope that this, this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video. Like this video if you haven't done so yet. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.